first set eyes on each other 13 years ago in the Garage Nightclub Glasgow at a big Halloween party. Scott was dressed as zombie Freddie Mercury <laughs> and Rachel was dressed up as a purple Crayola crayon. They were both fairly inebriated and Rachel has absolutely no idea how it, how it happened. However, the zombie Freddie Mercury convinced Miss Crayola to give him her number. Even though they exchanged numbers, it took another three years before they started dating. Eventually, three years later, they organised a first date in Glasgow to the social. More pubs and finishing the night off at a nightclub. Scott did end up missing the last train home and had to sleep on a friend's couch. 2013, Rachel describes herself not actually physically moving into the flat. She more or less didn't really leave. It was, it was such a convenient spot right beside work and a lovely flat, it ticked all the boxes. 2014, they moved to Falkirk to a more spacious house with a driveway and a garden. It was a big decision for Rachel with most of her friends living in Irvine. However, she does now love it and it's pretty handy for Scott's family. They never actually really talked about getting married, but Scott had different ideas and back in 2019, he started ring hunting. It was also a standing joke in the family that whenever they went on holiday, they'd come back an engaged couple. I have to say, Scott totally excelled himself, gifting Rachel an amazing trip to Iceland for her 2019 Christmas present. He then organised the trip for February 2020. There's so much to see and do. However, Scott's overarching idea was to go on a Northern Light sightseeing trip and propose under the starlit phenomenon. Out in one of Iceland's amazing national park parks, there's a bridge spanning a gorge where two tectonic plates creak and groan. Scott positioned Rachel perfectly over the bridge, handed his camera to a tourist who flipped it onto video mode and captured the moment Scott proposed. Say how much you mean to me, but it won't mean a thing. His words never sound quite right. Let's find our own kind of language. We've searched the whole world, whole world, and all around it. Didn't know what we were looking for till we found it. They could say the sea, the high.
Love, love. 